mom Kay Mendoza from Paliparan 3 Senior High School and I welcome you to Food and Beverage Services Week 7 Lesson Part 2. In the previous video, we have learned how to take and process room service orders and how to set up our trays and trolleys. In this video, we will learn how to present and serve food and beverage orders to guests present room service account, and clear away your room service equipment. Let's begin learning! After the tray or trolley has been properly prepared and all the food and beverage items have been loaded, you may now present and serve food and beverage orders to guests. Proceed to the guest room as quickly as possible to deliver the meal to preserve the appearance and temperature of the food. But you must walk cautiously and quietly in guest room corridors and give way to guests. Approach the room quietly and upon reaching the room, confirm the room number with a guest check. Check the door for a do not disturb sign. If one is in place, look for a service area with a telephone and inform the guests of the food service ordered. If no D&D sign is in place, knock firmly and announce your presence. Remember that your voice must carry through a closed door. Listen for the guest's response. If there is no response, knock the door again and announce room service. Wait 20 seconds for the guest to reply before knocking the door again. Do not ring or knock more than three times. Stand straight with a smile on your face in front and facing the peephole with the trolley placed by the wall, not obstructing the passage. her appropriately and wait until he or she invites you to come in. Ask the guest where he or she would like the meal order to be placed. Set them up where directed, bearing safety in mind. Advise the guest of any potential hazard. If the guest does not reply, select a suitable location that does not interfere with the guest's movement within the room. When the table has been arranged, present and serve the food and beverage to the guest following the company procedure. Remove each lid and describe each item. Pour any bottled or canned beverages for the guest. Good morning ma'am, here is your continental breakfast. Okay. Where do you want me to set up your meal for you? Mm, over there. Okay, thank you ma'am. Excuse me. So here's your continental breakfast. Here is your dinner roll with ube jam and peanut butter. Here is your decaffeinated coffee. Here's the creamer and the sugar. Here's your water. Here's your orange juice. And here's your cool apple. Room service billing is different from other food and beverage outlets in that the guest check is presented upon the delivery of the meal as opposed to being presented after the guest has finished the meal. Common method of payments include cash, credit card, electronic fund transfer, vouchers, and charge accounts. Once the food items have been arranged for the guest, the server presents the check in a check folder and secure the guest's name and signature. Before leaving, make sure the guest does not need anything else and inform the guest how the tray or trolley can be cleared. 
You may ask what time the guest would like the equipment to be cleared and note it on the guest check. Thank the guests before leaving and take the plate covers and other unnecessary items as you leave. Here's your bill, ma'am. Please check and then afterwards you can sign it right here. Thank you, ma'am. What time do you want me to be back to clear up? I'll have my room made up when I leave. They can attend to that. Okay, ma'am. Or you can also dial zero and call us and we'll clear up for you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy your breakfast. It is the room attendant's responsibility to clear away the tray after the guest has finished the meal. It is often the object of conflict between the room service department and the housekeeping department. We should keep in mind that our service is finished only after all trays have been cleared away. Typically, a room service order is required to get the following information on a dispatch checklist. The date, room number, time the order was taken, time the order was delivered, whether the tray or trolley has been taken, the person delivering the order, and the time the order was cleared. Trays and trolleys should be taken to the wash-up area. Waste items will be removed and food service equipment will be washed. Trays and trolleys must be cleaned and dismantled safely and hygienically following enterprise procedures. The procedure includes the stocking of equipment, placement of dirty linens, and storage of usable items. Stock of all items should be checked against per stock requisitioned for restocking as required to meet the establishment's standards. So that's how we provide room service to guests. I hope that what you learn in these videos will teach you how to appreciate the hard work of our room service attendants and you will approach them in a respectful and considerate manner. Again, this is Nongke reminding you to love learning. As Jan Dewey said, education is not a preparation to life, but education is life itself. Have fun learning! Bye!